Number talks are something that we use daily to really build that mental computation and that mental stamina. We've been really working hard in our number talks to um, have student ownership and to also have students providing feedback and being um, confident and taking risk within their learning. So today we are going to have Sierra and Roberto lead us in a number talk and we're going to see if we can share some strategies and share our thinking together and uh, we're going to get started right now. Are you ready? Yeah. Basically number talks just get classroom conversations going. It's all mental. There's no paper pencil. So it's all students doing the thinking in their head. Hannah, 24. It was a challenging number talk today. It was 16 times 14 which is two digit by two digit and we've been working on it for roughly you know a week, a school week. Students make mistakes in their thinking, they share incorrect answers, but it's really an amazing tool to just get students thinking and sharing. And students get to share strategies, they get to comment on each other's strategies. Henry and Hayden had both had an incorrect answer, and it was really interesting because when Henry was sharing his strategy, when he got to the point of 56 times 4, he talked about the step he did, and then a couple students chimed in. Okay, so what threw him off, Hayden? What do you think threw off Henry? He got the answer for 56 times 2 wrong. I accidentally multiplied the 56 by 4 instead of by 2. It's, it's a real major mistake that could throw you off. Yeah, because and then they helped me get on track, um, Miss Susie and my friends. The one great thing is that, as you could see, all the kids were working together and supporting each other. And I really just sat back and I asked questions, but they do all the dirty work. When you watch a number talk, it's so amazing to see all the different strategies and the confidence and risk taking and just the feedback the kids give each other. Like, I wish I could go back in time <laughs> and do that for the kids I had.